In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to look at how to duplicate a person on the screen by simply using a mask. And as you see in the preview screen here, we have the same person on the screen twice. We're going to show you just a tiny bit of a clip uh, to show you what that might look like uh, in the somewhat final production. And so what I'd like to do is have my friend here tell you a little bit about what the garbage mat is and how it works. Your turn. Well, thank you. A garbage mat is basically a way in which you punch a hole in one layer of a video so that you can see another layer that was shot from the same still position beneath it. And this is why you can get two of the same people on the screen at the same time. Now let's go back and uh, look at the components of making this happen. You have to con consider how you're going to make your shoot. And what I did is I made a shoot with two chairs, and I'm using a green screen in the background, but you don't have to at all. The one thing you have to make sure you do is you make the camera stable. And here we're on a tripod. We don't want the area that the camera shoots to change at all, either by magnification, rotation, or any kind of movement. So what we did was we took our subject and started on the left, and there's our subject talking on the left side in the left chair, and then looking as though there was someone to talk to or interact with on the right side. And then we move over and we put that same individual on the right chair, talking as though there was someone to interact with on the left. Now once I have that in my raw footage, I need to go ahead and I need to split it. So I'm going to go to my marker here, and I'll do my control T to split the first clip. And I'll use the control T over here to split the second, second clip. And here I had a section I duplicated I didn't want to use, so I'm going to take that out. I'll just remove and leave gap here. And uh, then I have the end of the second one that I'm not going to use either, so I'll split it again. So what I have right now is I have someone on the left and the same individual on the right. How do I do this? Well, I take the clip that I want to use on the right, and I'll take it and I'll drag that down on another track. And the key idea here when you're working with this is to make sure that you have them interspersed correctly with your timeline. Right now, the individual's talking over here, and that's when this guy should be listening. And it's a bit of a trick to film this right because you have to get the pacing right. And I don't have it quite perfect here. But now I have the audio here and then this, the, in this section here, uh, the same uh, person working, sitting in the right chair would speak. Now he should have been quiet about this point in time, but he kept on talking, which makes the end of this uh, not what we want. But we at least have the beginning here. Now, how do you get to see both of them on the screen at the same time? Well, you use a mat. So I'm going to go to the lower track and punch a hole in it, as it were, and create a mat. So I click on the clip I put on track number two. And then we're going to click on Designer, Mask Designer. That will open up my mask. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to to uh, take one and make one that's half the size of the screen. I, what I'd like to do probably though is take a, just the full mask and click that on and we'll go ahead and we'll change the features of it. I have to go into my mask properties. I want to uncheck maintain mask ratio. So I'm going to move the mask to the right side and then I'm going to go ahead and and change the width of it to something like this. So now I have, I'm masking through to see below the, the character on the left side. So I'll click on OK, and now I have my mask. So when I go ahead and play this section of the video, I have uh, the fellow on the right and the same fellow on the left. And it looks like they're in the same shot at the same moment in time. But in effect, they're not. It just looks like they are. 
So this is a very simple way to do the mask. Uh, there are some pieces of software that use something called a garbage mat. That's where you can have up to 16 different points to design the cut between your mask. And this is imperfect, you see here. We have a little bit of a difference in lighting simply because of the way the light's reflecting off of this, uh, this guy on this part of the shoot and this guy on the other part of the shoot. Uh, it's hard to keep it exactly perfect with a green screen. So that's why what I did was I'm going to take both of these tracks, in this case, this is why I used a green screen, drag them down one, and then I'm going to put this other movie on the first track, this other clip, and then I'm going to chroma key both of these. I'll take uh, this one here and uh, double click on it to get into my PIP designer. And then we'll go to our chroma key and I'll turn on my little eyedropper and we'll chroma key here. And that we could tweak it. We're going to see a little bit of tint of green in the hair, but that's okay. And then I'll take the other one on this level and uh, double click on it and we'll chroma key that one as well that will turn the green into transparent click on chroma key use the eyedropper select a typical color and there we go so now I don't have to worry when I look at the uh, preview window I don't see that seam quite as badly because I've, I've chroma keyed out the background. This is a result that I get. So it's not a bad way to go ahead and uh, put two of the same subject on the screen at the same time using your mask.